Welcome back again to the channel. Today, we're talking about something a little bit different. So, um, one of my main drivers and, and motivations to um, get the channel going was actually share information that I have found in the last or many years just looking for ways to modify or make your bike stand out. And somehow, the, the bikers are somewhat secretive about you know the modification they do to their bikes. So today, I'm just gonna share about with you what I have done with Tygon 2375. All right, so what the heck is Tygon 2375? So this Tygon, it's the, as you can see on this close up that I'm showing you right now, it is a tube or the, a tube that is like super like chemically resistant and they give you the opportunity to, um, in my case, use it for, for my brake system. So if you remember, when I bought my, my GSX 750, it came with a master cylinder, it's a Chinese master cylinder um, that you get out of eBay. For some applications, this might be okay, but I just didn't want to go with that one. And it seems like when they, when they crash the bike, or maybe the master cylinder has been on the bike for a while, so the glass uh, where you can inspect the, the liquid or the brake fluid was actually cracking, and it was seeping a brake fluid through that window. So I decided to change it. So I changed it with an original OEM second hand master cylinder and since it didn't come with the cup or the reservoir, I decided just to go with one of these to make my own reservoir like you see on this video. So I was introduced to, to 2335 because I was into like customizing bikes and I, and I was building a cafe. I decided just to have more streamlined and maybe modern look by just replacing you know normal housings. And also, back when I had my, S, my Yamaha FZ09, uh, I removed the rear passenger pegs, which is the place where you used to attach your, your reservoir for your rear brakes. So when I did that, so I, I lose that place, so I decided just to remove the, the cup entirely, or reservoir, and I decided to replace it with one of these. So the beauty of this is like some companies, they actually sell you what they call the Honda cap, and the Honda cap will fit exactly inside of this tube, which will give you the ability to use this tube as a reservoir instead of just having um, a reservoir cup, you know, in place of you know this tube. Secondly, you can also um, use it just for your normal uh, brake system. So if you have a, a style of cup, I mean, other unlike the the GSX S1000, for example, they have like the more traditional kind of like housing, which is like a box or something like that. So. If you want to retain your more normal like setup, then what you want to do is just to replace your normal tubing that you use that is normally black for someone you can see through and you can inspect the condition of the, the brake fluid at all times and it looks quite, quite nice. So now I'm just going to walk you through the process of like doing that right now on my GSX 750. So I hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any comments later on. This is the part number for the Honda cap. Without cutting the tube, are you going to slide it on your master cylinder? Since at this point, I'm not sure if this is going to be the last place or the last placement for the tubing. I'm just going to be, you know, securing it with two zip tights and then I'll do some safety wire later on. For my use case, I decided to um, undo the bolts that are holding down the master cylinder just so I can get a little bit of movement so I can place it um, accordingly in order to, you know, get the position that I want for the tubing as well as, you know, uh, me grabbing the, the brake lever. Now that I'm having with the position, I want to go ahead with a, some scissors and I'm just going to cut the tube to fit. Since this is a brand new uh, master cylinder, of course there's nothing um, uh, liquid in it and there's potentially a lot of air that have been introduced to the system. So at this point I'm just going to fill up with brake fluid and I'm just going to be starting to bleed the brakes as usual. It's pretty satisfying to see the bubbles um, through the clear tubing. With the brakes bled, now it's time to put the Honda cap on. 
All right, so this is the final product. Um, I will be removing these two seat ties that I put in here. These are the ones that I put uh, initially just to uh, ensure that you know I had the, the cable in place. And then um, this is the Honda cap where you can you know see uh, that it fits inside and it's you know fairly easy. You know it's pretty firm, but still somewhat you know easy just to pull. So because of that reason, you wanna you know put it all the way and maybe just put some safety wire in these two ridges, maybe one, but you know, you have the option to put it in here, or maybe in here. Also, um, I put some safety wire in here as well, just so I can keep it, you know, pretty tightly after the the mouth of the, you know, that the, where it gets contact with the master cylinder and the actual, you know, brake fluid going into the master cylinder. So, um, one thing that you can um, think about is to look for ways where you can um, have some sort of like hardware um, just maybe attached to here to the actual hose as well as any, you know, um, uh, bolts that you have nearby with the intention of maybe this is just an example this is just a wrench but this is just for for illustration purposes I will maybe just get this in here and maybe I can make a hole drill a hole in this piece and maybe just bend it so that I can have maybe the the the, the tube I'm standing up a little bit more instead of just staying here my main concern was that the this was gonna be out of the way so I mean I only use this when I'm turning the bike on and off so I'm not really I mean honestly just in this area a lot so I, I did I felt like this was you know pretty safe for me and and it was not impeding me you know being able to to you know maneuver or use my using my brake lever so um, that that's all that's all it that matters you can choose how to do it you can um, you can just you know guide it so you want it looking up and standing up you can just maybe use it with the um, same clamp that you use for your master cylinder and maybe you can bend it 90 degrees make a hole and maybe drill it put it in here and maybe this is gonna be like this and it can you can keep it on this position I can all oh, I on purpose did it a little bit longer and I was just, and I was thinking about maybe um, cutting it through here and then having just more stubby but I'm guessing the most amount of liquid the better just so you can you know have more liquid in here it's you know fairly simple fairly um, easy to install and it will be cool if you can always just check for you know uh, leaks nothing is coming out it has been here with pressure for about maybe two weeks now so you know it's in a good place and I feel like you know pretty confident and pretty comfortable you know having this in place so all right, so as you can see, pretty pretty easy um, and inexpensive way to you know give some a little bit of a whiz to your bike and make it stand out. So if you are interested, I will be leaving a link um, under I mean in the in the comment section or in the description of this video, just so you can get um, the specifications and you know exactly what to purchase. Like in my case, I only purchased about a foot, um, so like 12 inches of this, um, as well as the Honda cap. So you buy both, and then the only thing you have to pay attention to is whether or not your master cylinder, if you're gonna be attaching this to master cylinder and then from the master to the reservoir, if that's your setup, then you will be using in the most of the Japanese bikes, they use eight millimeter internal diameter. The Honda cap is gonna be the same for both. So if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Um, I, I was on purpose just trying to keep this video short. I just wanted to show you just a quick way to you know make some changes to your bikes and maybe in the future if you run into issues where you have to replace your your brake lines not the brake lines going to your uh, um, calipers of course just the, in in terms of you know using as a reservoir or for the reservoir i mean this is a good option for you so i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up or give me a subscribe that'll be amazing and share if you find this you know uh content useful so um, stay cool